In example 18, we have something that may initially look like the last couple of problems we've been tackling, but if we first apply properties of logs, we can bring that 2 up as a factor in front, or I'm sorry, as an exponent, allowing us to rewrite the right-hand side as the log base 11 of x plus 5, that quantity squared. Now what we have on both the left and right-hand sides are the same logs with the same bases, meaning we simply have to set what's inside those logs equal to each other. And then solve from there. On the left-hand side, we would have just that 10x plus 26. And expanding on the right-hand side, we would get x squared plus 10x plus 25. The 10x on each side would cancel out, and subtracting 26 to the other side would give us minus 1. So we get x squared minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0, leaving us with two solutions, x is equal to 1, or x is equal to negative 1. Those fit within our domain restrictions, which would be that x has to be greater than negative 5, and x has to be greater than negative 26 over 10. So we have, in this case, two valid solutions to that given log equation. Example 19 is a little bit of a tricky one, uh, because it looks, again, similar to some other problems that we've tackled. But something we need to be very careful about is the notation here. The log base 2 of x squared is not the same thing as what we have here, which is the log base 2 of x, that entire expression, squared. So with the expression that we have in example 19, that entire logarithmic statement is being squared, versus in the case here where we have log base 2 of x squared, the only thing that's being squared is the x. If this square is on the outside, there's nothing we can do in terms of properties of logs to bring that down as a factor in front, so we need to take a different approach. What we'll do is let u equal the log base 2 of x, meaning we can rewrite this as u squared minus u, and if we subtract 2 over to the other side, we get minus 2 is equal to 0. This will factor then as u minus 2 times u plus 1, substituting our expression back in, this would be the log base 2 of x minus 2 times the log base 2 of x plus 1 is equal to 0 leaving us with two different statements to solve. The first one would be log base 2 of x minus 2 is equal to 0, or we can just set that logarithm equal to 2, and the log base 2 of x equal to negative 1. For the log base 2 of x, we would get 2 to the second power, or 4, is equal to x, and for the second example, or second uh, equation to solve, we would get 2 to the negative 1, negative 1 power, which would be 1 half, is equal to x. And that gives us our two solutions, x equals 1 half and x equals 4, both of which are greater than 0, so they're valid solutions within the domain of this original equation.